storing field labels and visibility rules in the database. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Here I have an order application. Not only does it have order information but also order detail information. I included all fields from both order and order details table when I created this project. I did not change any field labels and that is why we have columns we don't really want and column names that should be renamed to better describe the information they represent. Obviously I can go back to the project and remove unwanted columns and rename field labels. But in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to store field labels and their visibility rules in a database table which in turn will allow you to change the rules for any column without changing it in the project. I left a link in the description to a post where you can copy all code used in this tutorial. First, we need to create a table in the database to store the settings. You can create this table in a way you like, but I'm going to use PHP my admin. I select the database and open the SQL window. I copy paste the query from the post and as you can see I'm about to create a table called settings with fields like table name, field name, field label, visibility etc. I now click on go and the table is now created. And now I have a new table called settings which is currently empty. The table structure show the column names and their data types. I now opened the project. Add the new table by selecting it from the database table screen. You might need to synchronize the database in case the new table is not present in the list of available tables. Next is the SQL query page for the settings table. I will leave everything here as is. At the Choose Pages screen I untick a few pages that I don't need. Also instead of Edit Record Page I prefer an Inline Edit function and instead of Add New I select Inline Add instead. These are my personal preferences. You can select what you want. Everything will work well as long as you can add and edit records to the settings table. Next up is the events page. First I will add the code to the orders table. At the after table initialized event of the orders table paste the following code. As already mentioned I left a link in the description to all code used in this tutorial. Next, at the before display event of the add page of the orders table, paste the following code. The exact same code goes to the before display event of the edit and view pages. Finally, paste the following code to the before display event of the listing page of the orders table. You will have to add the same code to all other tables in the project you need to save labels and visibility rules for. In my case it will be the orders detail table. I now add the exact same code to the after table initialized event, the before display event of the add, edit, view and list pages of the orders detail table. Remember you don't need to change any code unless you called your settings table something else of course. Simply copy paste the code. Next is the designer page. Here I change the visible, read only and required fields to be checkboxes and make the other fields required.
now clean up the menu under the common pages. Here we only need the orders and the settings on the welcome page. I also clean up the menu on the editor page to have orders and settings only. Ok, that is it. Let's see how it works. Back at the application I refresh the page and we now have a settings menu item. Let's add the first record. The database table is orders, as that is the table in my project. The field is going to be customer ID and I want the label for this field to be customer. I need the field to be visible and is also a required field. I have now added a few more fields for the order table. Note that visible is not selected for fields like ship, zip, postal code, taxes and a few more. So those fields will now disappear. Let's have a look. Ok, field labels looks good and unwanted columns are now removed. I also added the same event code to the details table, so let's make some changes. So, what do you think? Can you think of a use case where this can be handy? Please let me know in the comments below. Till next time.